channel. Right now I feel like a total princess. I'm in this gorgeous ball gown. I look kind of crazy because it's like all poofy on my bed. But I'm recreating Christine from Phantom of the Opera hairstyle and makeup. Uh, and then of course I have this gorgeous dress. So what happened with this, I worked with Morley Prom by Madeline Gardner on Instagram for a post and I was looking through their site and I was like, oh my gosh, like this dress reminds me of Christine and I thought this would be a really fun video. So it did take me a while to put together because I wanted to practice the hair and make sure I got it down because I'm having a really hard time filming hair tutorials in this apartment so when I'm back home in Canada I'm gonna do some like series of hair tutorials because I always filmed in my mom's bathroom and I don't have a kind of space here so I tried my best with uh, filming it in a different type of way this time so let me know if you have any feedback for me hopefully it's easy to follow and I did want to do a little giveaway in today's video so if you like these hair clips that are inspired by the movie you can find them on Etsy I'll have a link down below but the shop is pretty low in stock so I thought I would do a a giveaway as well and I will be giving away the ones that are in my hair these um, clips are a little bit pricey so I, I couldn't like just buy a whole bunch of them but I hope that one of you guys you know was excited to win these clips there's 20 of them and all you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up and then leave me a comment letting me know why you love these clips maybe you're a fan of the musical or you have an event coming up I'd love to read your comments and then choose a winner and make sure you leave your Instagram handle and that you're following me on Instagram so that I can DM you if I choose you as a winner. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started with the makeup. I am super pale for today's look and for a glowy ethereal base that is hydrated, I'm using the MAC strobe cream all over the skin as well as on my chest and collarbones for a subtle glow. Using one of my all-time favorite light to medium coverage foundations, the Benefit Hello Happy in shade 1. Whenever anyone compliments my skin, I take note that I'm often wearing this foundation and I have little bumps throughout my skin and worry foundation can enhance the look of the texture sometimes. So this one is great because it's super lightweight and just a winner for me. And to brighten up the skin, I'm using the lightest shade of Tarte's Shape Tape and enhancing under the eyes, jawline, Over the lids to prep them and then a very subtle contour with Fenty's Amber Matchstick. I'm not really trying to transform my face structure into Emmys here. Um, we have quite different features but as always just adding a bit of a shadow under the cheekbone and blending out under the jawline which I couldn't see but underneath I didn't quite blend so if you do this make sure you tilt your head upwards and make sure to blend. Uh, sometimes when I watch footage after I like see the little errors I made but it's all a learning process. And for the cheeks, I have another matchstick by Fenty. This one gives such a pretty peachy pop, and I love the formula of this. It's really easy to blend onto the skin and looks super fresh. By the way, I did go for some rich brown contacts for fun. I'll have a link down below to these ones. They're pretty inexpensive, and I've been trying different brown contact lenses because I found my eye color kept making them appear more green uh, if they were kind of more transparent and natural looking. So these ones are pretty intense, but I ended up loving the darker eyes with the whole look completed. Adding a bit of nose contouring here, still with the Fenty stick, bringing in some shadowing to the nostrils and bridge with a really light hand. This makeup look is definitely barely there for a formal type of look, but the final product with the big polished hair is super princess-like. Setting with the Revlon Translucent Finisher, one of my favorite powders from the drugstore. And another one of my Revlon faves, the Colorstay Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This is great for warming up my natural brow shade and the formula has more of a hold to it so generally I don't use a brow gel when I use this product, just one less step which is awesome. And because my brows are a little too full for the vibe of this polished look, I'm taking the Anastasia Pro Pencil in Base 1. This is one of my favorite products to have because it's great to clean up any brow step really and it's really easy to blend out. Now when I first attempted this look, I went with a purple eye, um, you can see that on my Insta story here, but when I rewatched the film, I saw more of a silvery blue and decided to go with this gorgeous Tarte palette and work with the white first as a bold highlight and add this to the lid. And then I'm taking the silvery blue into the crease. Again this is really subtle and then I did take the purpley shade to the lash line. 
really light wash of color, not a bright blue or anything. And to add a bit more polish to the eye and help make the brown eyes pop, take a rich, more orangey, reddish based brown and add this to the bottom lash line and also tight line the inner corner as well. This is a little detail, but I think really it brings the eye look together. And after these shadows, I did feel like I wanted a bit more color and the best shade for brown eyes to make them pop is a bit of purple. So I added this to the lash line. Lastly, I wanted a bit more depth to my eye shape like Christine for that big doe-eyed look and to do this I just took a matte taupe and created a bit of a natural looking shadow slightly above my crease in a rounded shape and then also under my lash line to enhance the roundness of the eye. Hadn't used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in a while, and this one is great. I did remove some excess product as I wanted more natural looking, fluttery lashes. Did two coats here, and this is something I do for super curled lashes, but people have totally chopped their lashes off, so do with caution. But if you lightly curl after a coat or two of mascara once the mascara has dried, it does really open up the eye, but please do this gently if you ever experiment with this, and make sure that your lash curler has a little cushion. And because I was kind of experimenting as I went, I decided to add a bit more drama to the lash line and I went and added a small line to the outer lashes for fullness with a liquid liner. I love the MAC Brushstroke Liner, it's my go-to, super easy to use um, even after mascara if you want to add it in. So next up, a natural looking highlight that's going to make the skin look fresh and lit up like we're on stage. I chose the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Highlighter in Bomb Duo in the shade Nude. Here I added the highlight down. This reminds me of like Benefit's What's Up highlighter in terms of the feel. And what's cool about this is the bomb you can apply over top or mix the bomb and highlight for an ultimate runway radiance. This is really pretty in person, but if you do want more of an intense look, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand is stunning on camera specifically. If you are looking for a high-end highlighter for a wedding or prom, I'd say test both of these in stores and see what kind of level of glow you like. I personally love the Charlotte Tilbury for my nose. Love that to be a little bit more intense, and then I like the overall glow from the first highlight. I'm using another Charlotte Tilbury product. I love the lip cheats, and this one's a classic. I'm using Pillow Talk, and I also love the Maybelline lip liners that you don't have to sharpen, so if you're looking for a drugstore pick that has a similar peachy and nude range, definitely check those out. I'm finishing up the look with one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. This is the shade Kinda Sexy. It's matte, love the formula, and it smells amazing like all MAC lipsticks. And I chose a gloss, and this one's a little different than the inspiration, but it's one of my all-time favorite glosses, and this is NARS Full Vinyl Lip Liqueur in the shade Cape Town. This is a metallic gold with pink shimmer. It's so unique, and I'm wearing it here with no tan, but I love this with minimal makeup and a tan. It looks really bomb, but it's a smooth, creamy lip liqueur, and it drenches the lips with intense color and a mirror-like shine. And before I used the Pat McGrath Labs highlight on my chest and collarbones, it looked so gorgeous, but last second I saw this Body Shop sparkle powder that I got back at Christmas uh, when I went on a very magical trip up north in Canada, so I'll link that vlog in the information button if you want to check it out. But I thought this looked straight out of a fairy tale. First up, I've applied my favorite OGX heat protectant. This one smells great and it smooths out the hair and I'm sectioning my hair into two. The curling iron I'm using I picked up at Ulta and it's from Bedhead. You can for sure get it online as well and it's so affordable and it makes the most gorgeous curls that last forever. curl away from your face in small sections and you can let the curl cool in your hand for extra staying power. Once they are in place, use your fingers and break apart each curl once or twice and just watch the volume happen. I love doing this. Keep curling around the head and I'm using my favorite set of extensions to get extreme princess fullness. Of course you can try without extensions, but I do think to get this look accurate to the movie, unless you have super thick hair to begin with, extensions really do help. 
I love the shade of these and these are 22 inch clip-ins, 220 grams, and they're the perfect combination of coffee, cinnamon, and bronze, resulting in a luxurious warm brown hair shade. They blend naturally with my own hair super well and they enhance the color to kind of my dream shade and mine were curled from a couple days before, but again, they can be easily styled with hot tools. The hairspray for intense volume that I've continued to grab for when I want lots of hold and lots of volume is the OGX Big Hairspray Modifying Fiber Full. I use this in the kissing booth hairstyles and you can find it at Walmart. Um, it lasts a really long time and you can see me really get this style in place with this hairspray, especially at the front section. So just moving to the second section of hair, doing some teasing and still I'm curling away from the face. Looking like a dork with this little bun on my head and I'm teasing at the crown. This is pretty important for this style so um, that when we add the braid around the front it looks balanced. The front is where we make this style super beautiful. Again I'm still curling, teasing a bit and setting the curls backwards. Really take your time curling the very front sections and twist and pin this time to keep in place. And as I was saying, use that hairspray to separate those detailing curls. You do need a pretty strong old hairspray to defy gravity a bit here. And the next step, we need those extensions to create a substantial braid. Christine has a cascading braid with beautiful mirrored clips like Empress Cece. That's the inspiration for her look, so that's why this also looks like Empress Cece. And just clip the braid under some of the curls to mask it. Place over, making sure not to flatten the curls too much, and apply some bobby pins. Another key quality to this style is that the hair is pinned around the neck too, so create a loose braid within the curls and then pin. And that's the shape we want, poofy up top and then kind of cinches in around the neck and then flows at the back. And time to decorate with inspired clips that I got off Etsy. I will have the shop linked below and I'm giving away these, so make sure to enter in the comments below and that you're following me on Instagram at JackieWire so that I can DM you if you're the winner. And finally, putting on the gorgeous sleeves of this stunning dress, and I'll give you a look at this entire gown by Morley Prom by Madeline Gardner. You guys are gonna die, it's the prettiest dress ever. And I hope you enjoyed this prom or wedding princess tutorial. The sun in my face, it's so well needed. Life will take care of the rest. Biking alone in the sunset, through the canals so the mindset I needed. Yeah, I needed. Oh, let's freeze time. Gather around, watch the sun go down. Oh, in summertime. Soaking up the sun, cruising around in this crazy town. Oh, just you and I. I hope you enjoyed this Christine inspired look. And if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, also, leave me a comment, of course, if you do want to win these clips. Let me know why and leave your handle so that I can DM you if you are the winner. And finally, um, I have one more video coming up like next week. That's this Taylor Hill inspired look. Really excited for you guys to see it. I worked with Revlon for that one again and I'm proud of it. So hopefully you guys are excited. But then I am taking a bit of a break because I will be traveling a little bit, which means there'll be a travel vlog coming up on my vlog channel. So be sure to subscribe if you didn't know. I do have a little second channel that I sometimes upload on and of course I love it when you guys tag me in your photos to show me your recreations so here are a couple of my favorite pictures 
So thanks for tagging me and thanks again to Morley Prom by Madeline Gardner for this dress. I feel so lucky to even have put it on my body. Um, this was sponsored on Instagram, but this video isn't sponsored by them. I just love the dress and really wanted to do this tutorial. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.